time you feel like okay I don't know what's happening next you know your emotions are up and down and I think Good morning. So currently heading out to the gym. I love starting out my mornings going out to the gym. Uh, well, a little intro. Uh, I feel like I do this videos once a year, so I feel like I do need to do an intro. Yeah. So uh, my name's Noah. I'm 24, turning 24. Uh, and currently I'm running a startup. Uh, it's called uh, Gen AI Consulting, and we're focusing on AI education and consulting. Uh, a little recap on my previous videos, I was an intern and I still live in Germany. I did my undergrad in Germany uh, and met really cool people there. Yeah, so graduated after those videos. Yeah, so graduated, uh, worked as a consultant for Mercedes Benz for like six months and then now decided to move to NYC. I started my master's here uh, and I've been here for almost a year now. I recently started a startup that's what I've wanted to do for since the start and I'm grateful I'm doing it right now but you know it's the early days uh, so I'm gonna show you around how my day looks like currently and let's hit it let's hit it let's see how the gym goes I used to used to hate doing legs but now I do legs uh, a lot and it's actually my favorite workout I enjoy doing legs now so do your legs it actually changes your workout try it out well that was the gym now currently heading down to Manhattan and then getting some work done Let's go catch the subway. up 14th street and now uh, starting up work going through emails doing posts for a startup and then we have a team meeting later on and some other meetings uh, so now I could tell you guys a little bit more about the startup and what we're trying to achieve so let's get to it so our company is called Jenny AI consulting and it's almost been two months since we started it. and the idea is to be the AI consultancy brand uh, globally uh, so what we're focusing on is AI education and consulting so we're building a platform which is exactly like YouTube but for just for AI content creators to upload there and then we're trying to do a subscription business with different companies like mid and large size companies our team is uh, we're almost uh, yep we're seven and everyone, uh, these are like my partner. Today I have a team meeting with my whole team, and we'll be going over. Yeah, we'll be going over like a strategy, what we're planning to do, what we're focusing on. Then I have a couple of other meetings after that. Let's get let's get to them. So, done with the meeting uh, in the first half of the day. So now I'm going to grab lunch and then catch up with fam. Uh, probably do it in the park. And then the second half slash afternoon continues. So 
So lunchtime is when I try to keep up with my fam. So we do FaceTimes and I always squeeze in FaceTime during lunchtime. So currently I'm heading down to Dumbo, Brooklyn uh, because since our startup is super early age, it's two, three to two months old, uh, I have a part-time job. I do presentations in high schools about like study hacks, uh, different uh, you know stress management stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to their office in Dumbo, Brooklyn, to pick up some stuff. Uh, Brooklyn is like my favorite part of NYC. Yeah, it has the best view of Manhattan and the whole skyline. Uh, all of NYC is good. So just made it to Dumbo, uh, right by the office, go there, pick it up, pick up the package and then maybe show you guys some of Dumbo's great views and then we get back to work. Okay, package secured. Now heading off to the next stop. Views checked. Uh, I feel like Brooklyn has the best views, so it's either Dumbo or Williamsburg, they have the best views of Manhattan. And I like coming here most of the time for views. Those are those are the best those places you can come by for views. It's tough to respond some messages so to some messages on Slack and then respond to some emails and then have to go over a presentation for tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll do, maybe work here a bit at Dumbo, you know, find a cafe, uh, finish up those messages, and then head to school to work on a presentation. So yeah, let's get to it. Let me speak about my two months experience running a startup. So I feel like it's mostly about managing your emotions. From the, when I was 18, I had this goal of starting a company and then traveling and combining those two. That was my goal. In college, we did like campus startups, which were fun. And I tried a little bit of like Shopify stores, like part time. So you know, I had like uh, an internship or. Uh, for a full-time job and I was trying like uh, Shopify stores or like the uh, marketing agency and it was on those things it was just me so you know I would try it out for like six months and then I would continue after it but right now starting this company and now having almost six people in it uh, you actually feel the emotions and like the thing is it's very mixed like at one point it's like yes I'm doing what I wanted to do and it's exciting and like it huge the possibilities you know and then one second you're like there's so much uncertainty feeling you feel all the time you're just like okay I don't know what's happening next you know so like if it was like an internship or a job you know what to expect but here you have no guidance it's very uncertain and you feel it so like it's, your emotions are up and down and I feel like most successful entrepreneurs they can manage their emotions and still stick to the plan and the goal and somehow figure out a way I feel like most people say they're still figuring it out you know, at whatever stage of their career uh, as entrepreneurs but uh, you know going through that so if anyone else is also feeling that emotion if you're like starting a startup 
it's, it's just part of it's just part of the thing. I guess it's you just get used to it. It's just getting used to the feeling of uncertainty. Yes. Now it's almost six. Uh, I'm gonna head out to school and then work on the presentation. So I'll take you all to school. Pit stop for dinner. Pick dinner. I'm trying to do salads. I was actually feeling like doing croissants. I'm addicted to croissants uh, for the past two years. If I got croissants, it would have been croissant number five for the day. <laughs> so yeah, we opted in for the salads, trying to keep it healthy. And hopefully it makes it easier to wake up in the morning, you know? So trying to do decisions with no regrets, you know? No, no, no regrets in the morning. So we're doing salads for now. And then heading to school, around school now. School? Uh, so I go to Peru. I'm doing my finance, like my master's in finance. So I did my undergrad in industrial engineering. It's about making like processes better and efficient. And kind of goes in line with what our startup is about. Uh, but the thing about this master's program is I only know like two people out of like the whole school literally I only know two people out of in, in this whole campus thing the thing is we don't have campus that's in like the middle of NYC like uh, so in my undergrad it was like a small campus and everyone you know lived in lived together basically so I made a lot of friends there but here I come here in the evenings and you know the classes are in the evenings and everyone is kind of like, you know, got their life kind of together. So it's, it's not us. The experience is a bit different. But yeah, let's get in. And then... done done for the day uh, so yeah this is how my evenings end it's either school on school days it's almost like 10 p.m. right now or we go to a networking event like a startup uh, investor tech type of events they have a lot of those in NYC so yeah this is how the evenings end and now off to bed <laughs> 